I hate these parts because I never know what to say. Like, hey guys. Hi guys. Name like, that's not really me. Look at me, look at the camera. What should I say in my intro for this? I don't really know. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how I get my natural waves or how I get my signature waves. Please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Um, I will get back to you if you write a little comment so don't be shy and um, keep watching so you can see what I do to get this look. The mermaid wand. Uh, it's just like a, it's a three barrel curler. All right, let's get started. I have my hair wand. I've been heating it up for a good few minutes because I want it to be hot. Um, now my hair is washed and just dried. Um, it is, it's dried, like it's all the way dried. Um, all right, so I'm gonna start by just sectioning it in two sections. And then the trick to sort of getting it to look quite natural, my hair has a natural wave in it, but the trick to getting it to look natural and not overly like, I don't like it to look overly crimped. Um, so I pick out a few sections and then I leave parts as well, uh, just natural. So I'll find some sections that are really frizzy, like under here, I've got a lot of frizz because it rubs against my clothes. Now the tool is hot, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to put the glove on that comes with it. And this is really helpful because then you can touch the hair. Hold it, I like to count to about eight. For the next piece that you crimp, sort of find the one that sort of goes into the wave so it seamlessly blends. I don't mind doing quite a large chunk of hair. I think it looks more natural that way. So then I do that and that is how I get my wave. The trick, another trick is do not touch it. Like don't touch it while it's still hot because you want it to set. So then I'll gently just put it to the back another section that I want to start crimping. All right. Do stay away from your neck because it's really easy to just give it a little tap and then you're left with what looks like a really, really dirty hickey. you really want to put it in quite loosely you don't want to be tugging at the bottom to straighten it out the looser you drop the hair into the barrels the more defined your wave is gonna look oh my god it gives the prettiest wave Some of it, 
that's done and some of it that's not done. So there's like a little before and after. So you can see what my natural hair it does have a bit of a wave, but it's quite frizzy and there's no shine, but there's no product in it yet. So I do still need to put product and then this has nothing. important to um, when you are curling you want to get at the side that the barrel is facing down because you want that wave to sort of curl in and then go out if it goes out sometimes it can look a bit weird so I like to get it facing down and probably starting at around like the nostril going to stop and show you guys one side that has been completely waved using the mermaid waver and then the other side which is natural so this is the wave sort of comb it out now it's fine that is how I would style my hair. All right, I'm gonna do the other side now. So I've gone ahead and done the exact same thing on the other side, and then just going to my last section again. Now remember, face the wand the other way so you get a nice curl that is going that way. And I sort of like to slant this section a little bit. Put on a little bit of a slant like that, you get a nice soft wave. See that? Alright, let's smooth down those flyaways. Babe, do you like my hair? Yeah, I do like it. Do you? Yeah. It's pretty, huh? Mm -hmm. Guys, this is my finished look. Um, and that took me, I think, I think it took me like, what, like 30 minutes? It's this stunning wand that helped me create this look in like 30 minutes. It is so easy to use. It is, it's actually really good. It gets really hot, so um, that's what I love because that's what gives me, my hair's quite unruly and it doesn't really, just doesn't nothing really works on it very well but this way you can control the temperature so you can cool it down a little bit if you've got really damaged or colored hair I recommend probably doing it on a lower setting I don't really have much color in my hair apart from the roots you know for the grays but apart from that anyways, I am really digging this look I'm gonna put the um, link for the wand in the description box so check it out um, but yeah, that's how I get my signature waves, um, and it doesn't take me very long, so that's why. 
I like it and I'm recommending it to you guys. Can you say tutorial? Tutorial. No, no. It's not a CH, it's a T. Tutorial. No, no, no. Tutorial. <laughs> anyway, if you like it, subscribe to my tutorials. <laughs> How's that, hun? Oh, <laughs> Just subscribe to my tutorials. Michael's having a fit over there because apparently... I can't oh. speak proper English and you know what? That's okay with me. I'm not claiming to be perfect doll. I'm not claiming to, I'm not teaching children how to read and write. But I have I'm to. just teaching these girls how to get a fucking fleek wave. Oh, he has to get in on all my videos. Can you just move so I can... No, wait, I'm filming doll. It's hot. What? It's a great product. Is that what you're saying?